Ooh, I hope this isn't loud. No, it's muted. Perfect. Trying to get a little music going. A little music. There it goes. Uh, I could turn it up a little bit. I don't want to turn it up in my headphone. I could turn it up in mine too. Okay, that's probably good. Yo, yo, yo. There is more info that has been posted. Um, uh, which, oops, that's Cataclysm Beta. Um, Wowhead has just done a bunch of like new articles on uh, data mining stuff, which I thought that the data mining would come after the reset on Tuesday tomorrow. It's 1047 for me here on the East Coast. So I was expecting 12 hours from now there would be the reset of the servers and then maybe tomorrow evening, like Tuesday afternoon, evening, we would see some more stuff and it, that could still happen. But uh, we just had the Druid podcast part two for Cataclysm with Scotty J, Table Slam, Bear Biss. Uh, if you're interested in Cata at all, check uh, check the recent live streams on Scotty J's YouTube channel. There's a little bit of Sod podcast in there too, so they're titled appropriately, so you can find the two episodes. It took two, because we, we talked about Druid so much. It was like six hours total between episode one and two. But finish that up, uh, and I I wanted to look at all this stuff. Additional class tuning. Uh, there was two things for Druid in this, I think. So, Engrave Bracers, Efflorescence. It changed from 21 out of 100 for the, um, the thing to 16 out of 100. And it is now every one second for 15 seconds instead of every two seconds for 30 seconds. So is that... I don't even know what that one was. Is that like a nerf or is that a buff? <laughs> I don't really do resto stuff. I don't do healing. Who heals? Your swift mend? No. Also causes efflorescence. Healing all party members within 15 yards of the swift men's target location for um, an amount every one second for 15 seconds. Your swift mend. Hmm. And then uh, the spell itself. The spell power mod got reduced. But for the duration halving, it's uh, spell power mod only went down quarter. But I think that might be an overall buff. You you have to swift mend more often, I, I guess. Can you? How often can you swift mend? I don't know. That's that's resto stuff. Uh, let's see here. I should read through all this stuff too as we continue. Come across. Class tuning, we've also made a separate post for spells in the uncategorized section. Point to a revamp of Sunken Temple item set bonuses. That's another another post that I'll get to. Blizzard also added a few items, several items with powerful procs. This was, uh... Wait. Only works on enemies level 45 or lower. Okay. So we're not going to see people have to have this to apply the debuff at level 50 in Sunken Temple. That's a good change. I like that kind of change. I don't know why it's not 49. 45 is a weird number for it to cut off at. Uh, while Serpent Striker only works on enemies level 55 or lower. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe that was a typo. That now was supposed to be 45. Increasing holy and nature damage taken by 8% for 20 seconds. Stall some of these while the podcast. I know. I was, <laughs> I was looking at some just to see if there was anything like huge for Boomy, and uh, there was one. I posted it in my Discord during the show. Uh, the, the two set bonus 
changed from MP5 to crit rating for our Sunken Temple bonus. I knew it was, I knew there was no shot. It was meant to be MP5. I hoped that it was hit rating and it's crit. So it, better than MP5, but I think still should have been hit. Huge set bonus that was stupid. Yeah, so the Boomy one was stupid before too. Uh, nothing changed for Feral um, in the the class. This first article, the class tuning one. It was just efflorescence that changed. Hunter, I'm. The last time I looked at these, I didn't really look at other classes. I kind of want to see if anything is like jumps out at me from the other classes really quick. And Frostbolt. Uh, Bracer's Hammer of Wrath is now instant and the cooldown on Hammer of Wrath is reset each time it damages an enemy below 10% health. Uh, did they used to have to cast Hammer of Wrath? I thought Hammer was instant, but like PvP wise. I'm telling you, Phase 3 is like a, a PvP balance phase. We didn't get a new PvP event but all of these runes and class tunings seem to revolve around pvp for me void zone 51 out of 100 is that a i've had too many drinks to off the dome is that like a buff to the void zone to deal more damage it's timesing it by a bigger number so that should be a buff to void zone enemies that stand within it every second for 10 seconds yeah that looks like a buff from 16 out of 100 to 51 out of 100 yo nest 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 i nest i was gonna critique your uh your video you did for scotty today their profession video but i mainly listened to it because i was at work i didn't watch it and see if I could find anything that was like, oh, he fucked up there. I think this one was, uh, this one was on fucking point, bro. Y you nailed it. <laughs> it used to be a cast. It was probably like a one and a half second cast. If it was a cast. I know it was, it was fucking quick. The Hammer of Wrath. Warlock. Shadow Flame. Engrave boots, shadow flame got buffed. I don't even know if I saw anybody ever take shadow flame. Targets in a cone in front of the caster take a lot more damage than it used to. Interesting. NPC demoralizing shot reduces the melee attack power of nearby enemies by forty. What was what's the new and the old? Oh, it requires warrior. Now it doesn't because it's hmm. weird. Uncategorized spells. That's the same thing. Power shredder. Shred reduces the mana cost of your next shape shift. What is this? What is what is power shredder? Mm -mm. The graphics. Uh, nest. The. <laughs> I gotta let me recheck it because while I was at work, just the opener looked really dark. You know me, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it like I'm gonna keep it real. It doesn't look as bad right here. I, I the tooltips, whatever you did with the tooltips, the tooltips are clean as fuck. Like these icons. I want to know how to make my icons be that clear. Like, what did you use to make those images just fucking pop? Best rating professions. And then these these looked kind of like a phone. I'm not, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but like, just it looked like it looked me. It reminded me of like my phone, like sideways. <laughs> Secrets of the business. I know there's like a, I know there's a website that makes it 
uh, keep its clarity if you resize it. Image AI upscaling. Is, I, I'm glad you told me that. <laughs> I'm glad you weren't just like, oh, I just do this. It's super fucking. Well, that probably is kind of simple too. <laughs> it's the set bonus for three set for Feral. This is. Oh, so they're really leaning into like the catnip stuff. I saw that was another one. Was catnip is honored with the uh, the the new faction, the new PVE warden faction. I I really hope that power shifting and stuff like that works out. One by one, I use a VPN because oh my goodness, yeah, that doesn't sound fun. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound fun. If it was worth it to make the images that clear, I would do it. But eh, uh, no, the graphics look great. It was a change, like. I'm just saying, it, it just it looks like a phone. Just the image, it looks like a it looks like a phone, but it's that's not a bad thing. When you did the scrolls and everything like that, like uh, the the next profession, and you highlight it like that shit right there, fucking sick, dude. Right into toughness, you got that. Like you were leading our eyes a lot. There was one point I didn't, like I said, I didn't really watch most of it. There were some points where I was like, there could be something on the screen right now, and there wasn't. That that was that's the only gripe, bro. Everything is fucking clean, clean. I liked it. It it had a Scotty J feel to it with like the nest. Uh, the nest a hint of nest in there too you know like I knew it was you <laughs> yeah yeah but sometimes you would have like the b-roll footage and you would have like a tool tip or something else on the screen and then sometimes it would just be b-roll footage and just having something on top of the B-roll to focus on. I know, dude. I know. I know. You asked for feedback. I'm, I'm just giving you feedback. The STV event items? Oh, I, I need to get there. I need to get there. Uh, Paladin. Fuck Paladin stuff. Priest. Void Zone. You saw that. Rogue. What is this? Increases damage taken by 7. I don't know what the rogue is. Shaman? Did they reduce? Did they nerf shaman? Reduces the cast time of healing rain by 100%. Fiery strength, warlock, warrior. What is this? Horn of Lodron reduces the cast time of your next two holy lights. What? By 0.2 seconds. What the? F what is this for Lodron? others there's 44 others oh fuck how many people clicked on this how many people just rolled right over that these delayed wing buffet strikes enemies in a cone in front of the casters knocking the back so i saw some of this stuff i need to pour a drink at the same time but i saw some of these knockbacks on the initial data mining from like a week ago and i was like so Blizzard doesn't want players to be able to move people back, like move people around the map, however they worded it, but they're completely fine with NPCs doing this. So the tech is there. They could grant players that ability to do stuff like Typhoon, like gra like gripping people and stuff. It's, it's almost a slap in the face to see enemies be able to do it. Like, we just got punted the fuck off the platform in Nomer. And it looks like they're doubling down in Sunken Temple to allow Sunken Temple... Mo Maybe this is the, the new PvE event. It could be the Nightmare Incursion. It's just weird.
But I, I'm really, I'm really trying to not have a super strong opinion on things unless I've tried it. You know, I mentioned that in the podcast today at the start of the show for sure, where it's like I, I was shitting on Kata, but who knows what the fuck Kata Classic is even gonna be. So, yes, I didn't think it was going to be good, but I still gave it a chance. I still leveled all the way up. I, I, I missed like six levels of leveling. I didn't get from 74 to 80. But I did everything else. I've played like three or four total days played probably at least on the beta. Like in-game time leveling. Uh, but yeah, it looks, all of these look like, uh, NPC abilities. Out of bounds, enter another area engulfed in nightmare. Return to the mission area or you will be teleported in 10 seconds. Summons your pet stone. It doesn't seem very active though. And it no longer requires a simple, simple wood to create a pet stone. <laughs> Precise claw. Uh, is it going to be stone weaving? I'm calling it right now, bro. It's a five minute stone weaving uh, feral min max. You heard it here first. Precise claws improves your chance to hit with all spells and attacks by 2% in bear or dire bear form. Attempts to remove one curse, one disease, and one poison from the imbuer. What is, wait, precise, is that a talent? Fairbish, you can probably answer this before I can even look it up, but is that... Is that just a talent? That they changed? Where's precise claws? Where's that? Other half of the... Th oh, it's the three set button. Okay, okay. I was like, they better not have given Feral fucking hit chance when they didn't give it to balance. <laughs> okay. This was one that I saw as well. Enter the dream of a targeted friend. Uh, no, it wasn't this one, but it was the icon of the Hearthstone. There was a couple of them. There was like two new hearthstones and this one's not one of them, but I went through, there was like 900 plus uh, spells that was data mined in the first round last week. And I was like, are they giving us like a shorter hearthstone? Sharpen claw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So the set bonuses, I need, I need to get to the set bonuses. I just want to, okay. So that's all done. The additional class tuning, data mined Emerald Wargans, Warden's rewards by reputation. I looked at this briefly during the podcast and I saw like catnip was for honored. Legs, chest, helm. Druid weapon, chest pieces with sleep effects. Shoulder gloves, boots. All right, so you only need honor to get like the, uh, the six set free pvp set that's 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 fair a general sense of what items are associated with the new faction i don't know what this is weapon cleaning cloth cleans your weapon removing all temporary enchants good as new but there wasn't that much in this article that i think was uh too great back to work see you nest <laughs> Some equivalent to weapon skill, not only is our DPS naturally low, but we can't even reduce glancing blows. If. Interesting take. Uh, I mentioned it on Warcraft Reloaded on Saturday. Today's what, Monday? I mentioned it on Warcraft Reloaded, and it just got posted on YouTube. Uh, shout out Warcraft Reloaded. If you want to watch that episode, I'll pull it up while I'm explaining what I said. Uh, that there's no spellcaster equivalent of them equalizing weapon skill. 
So if I could get less chance to get my spells partially resisted somehow, then cool. But yeah, if you want to like save this for later. Whoops. Say say save it for later right there. Boom. It was uh me, I play games, Solheim, we were the three guests, and then Bob and Mel, the host, Warcraft Reloaded. Hit them with a sub while you're there. 654. They're getting there. They're getting to, to the 1K. They're rebuilding the YouTube. They had to change YouTubes. So it would really help a lot. And that was episode 200, bro. I was on uh, an episode 200. But yeah, all of this stuff kind of... Eh, I didn't really look too much at it. The exalted stuff was the epics. I mean, of course it was. So there was the the ring, the 14 stam. Your harmful spells have a chance to increase your spell damage by 66 for 10 seconds with a 5% proc chance. I might get this for PvP because of the stamina. And the proc's pretty sick too, but Where's where's old Bear Biss at? Bear Biss. 156? You're close, bro. You're close. You're getting there. You're getting there. All your feral druid needs. Tune into Bear Biss. YouTube.com slash at Bear Biss. There it is. Uh, so this one, this article, not really. I wasn't too interested in that one. Re-itemized dungeon loot. This was one I didn't really look at, but I, I wanted to look at. To see if there was any, like this one. Humanza grips. Um, I don't know what I just clicked out of. Fuck. Um, is it 60 upgrades? Slash sod. Just to get a comparison of... These pieces, this is cloth. Of course it's cloth. But let me look at pre-raid. I got 50 pre-raid here. I got the gloves are 22 spell power. <laughs> so these are 12 from ZF. The dream weave. Dude, like that's a pretty irrelevant piece of gear. They they took dev time to make the Jumanza grips. When there's Dreamweave BOE gloves. Six extra spell power. Is anybody going to be like, oh man, 10 stamina? I guess maybe for PvP. Jumanza grips are better for PvP, for cloth wearers. Unless, hold on, hold on. We're, we're, I'm diving deep now, bro. We're, we're in here, we're deep. Nine since the hell yeah. Hey, you love to hear it. Additional item tuning. Oh, nice. All right. What was I, where was I going with this? The, this one. So the gloves. So you can get gloves at friendly with this new rep. All right. I, I take it all back. Look at, look at the difference here. Hopefully you can see it because might be in the way I'm not am I in the way no I'm good you can see this right here yeah 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 uh the gloves these are the two to compare friendly how how hard do you think it is to get friendly this has two less intellect one less stamina three more armor one more spell power you're just gonna get the fucking emerald enchanted gloves you're not gonna run zf i mean the level requirement i guess the level you could justify the level requirement you could level up with the jumanza grips and then this is just gonna feel like a shit upgrade at that point then i guess there's so many there's so many Things to balance with that. There, are, they have to walk a really thin line on the the gear and what 
what the gear has on it, but still. Damn. <laughs> Alright, what is this one? Uh, held an offhand, a 15 spell power offhand. Yo. This is almost the same exact thing as the Boomkin PvP piece from STV. I need to pull that up right now, too. This one was from a week ago. Runes, everything we know about Sunken Temple. Where's the new PvP Blood Moon? Look at this. And it's not even there. New rune, fade rune, season launches. Where the fuck is the the Blood Moon event stuff? Thought it would have been right there. Too many fucking articles, bro. Too many articles. Items. Darkwing Fair Trinket. Here we go. Alright, 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 alright. Okay, 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 okay. Druid's probably first. Where, where's the Druid one? This one? Look at this different. I mean, it's a lot of... It's nine extra stamina. One more int. One more spell power. But this is for anybody. Whoever the fuck wants to get the Desert Walker Cane can get the fucking Desert Walker Cane at level 42. Level 50. Druid can get one extra spell power. One extra intellect. Nine extra stamina. You got it. <laughs> it took me a minute, but I got there. But like, what? I, I I hope this changes. I don't know what it would change to to make me happy. It would have to be more spell power. It had. <sighs> Or like a what one percent crit? Give give us one percent crit on there, one percent hit even, because you need hit for PvP as well. Give me um, resistance on this. Um, uh, what's it called? Not spell pen, but you know what I'm trying to think of. Thirty feral attack power. Yeah, damn. <laughs> um. Yeah, whatever the spell resist, like, opposite of spell resist is, put that on here. We, we need that. It's on the trinket, but we need it on something else as well. Added DPS and damage range, rare quality. Strength, agi, removed, added. 19 spell power for a leather chest. A 19 spell power leather chest. Where is my... The Jinxed. Does this have it? This has it right here. So the Insulated... Insulated has one hit, so if you don't have the Insulated Apron... Then the Jinxed Hodo skin. Jinxed Hodo skin has stamina on it too. So like a solid, solid PVP piece actually right there. If you wanted a PVP option, that's not bad. The Jinxed Hodo skin. Mm, but this is this. No, this is the rating one. What What is the. The PVP one. Hmm. That's rough. So this is the the Emerald Watcher vest is from the Emerald Dream shit, whatever the fuck. Ten stam. 
9 spell power, 1 crit. So you're trading 1 crit for 10 extra spell power. A little bit more stamina. I mean, that's... The Jinxed Hoodoo skin is... Uh, that's decent. For PvP. Spell pen. Is it spell pen? I thought it was called something else. Uh, let me look at it really quick while I'm here on this. I can find the trinket. It's like Warsong rep. This one. Decreases the magical resistance of your spell target. So if, if it was like this and it said decreases the magical resistance of your spell targets by 30. Because this requires 40. So put 30 on it. That is spell. I know. I know. But it, it's the tool tip wise. I wanted to I wanted to be clear on the tool tip. <laughs> But, I mean, you don't get a set bonus for this, but the Jinx Hoodoo skin, I like that piece. I like seeing high spell power leather gear, and it's got a fuckload of stamina and in on it too, so. I might actually try to, I might look out for this one on my NA Druid. Alright. This added 12 stam, 15 spell power for the, the legs. So this might be another one, dude. Like, I might... My NA tune, I might just be running fucking ZF nonstop. I got... I don't remember which piece I got. I think I got the boots. I got one of the, the leather tier pieces last night. I think it was boots. So that would be perfect if I got the chest and the legs from ZF. I don't even, I think I have the red mage weave legs right now. So 12 int, 14 spell power, and then these would be a huge fucking upgrade for me. This is kind of making me excited for ZF, dude. Catch up. <laughs> yeah, and I need the catch up. Added 50 armor. Interesting. Interesting. Oldeman. Am I gonna need any Oldeman gear? I, I don't wanna I don't wanna do Oldeman. Cloth, chest, yeah. I'm not Oldeman. I, I don't like Oldeman. I'm not doing it. Mara, I Mara's okay. Only eleven spell power? That's pretty fucking low with uh the other options that are available out there. Like what's Hold on. What's the, the Scarlet Monastery one? Because I think that's what I have right now. The SM One Hand. Hypnotic Blade. Nine. And this is ten level. Like, Hypnotic requires level... Wait, 34. That requires 49. 15 levels. Hey, you get two extra spell power. Uh, I don't like the new version of Charstone Dirk. I'm being fucking critical, bro. This should have been 15, 17 spell power minimum. MP5, I guess they're trying to target it for heal. If it, if they want it to be a healer fucking dagger, make this 26 healing. Don't, don't put 11 spell power. No. Put fucking healing power on it. No caster is going to want that. Alright, we got a shield with spell power. Cool. We got cloth boots with spell power. And nature resist. Weird, weird boots. We got a gun. 11 or 13 healing power. 13 spell power for a helm. That's a lot of fucking int. What the fuck? Decent stam. Like this is this looks big for cloth PV or cloth. Yeah, cloth wearer PVP. I have there it is, but it's gonna it could fuck over some set bonuses. Requires level forty nine. Eleven spell power increases speed and reduced damage range. Increases your chance to get a critical with one or by one percent. Increases damage by one. It's a sword, so Boomy can't really wear swords. That's for Warlock Mage. 
but there's no other stats. Really weird. Really weird sword. Nature resist set. I mean, I think some of the set bonuses from the new gear had a bit of resistance built into it. And it made me nervous. I was like, bro, arcane resist. What? Like, speaking of arcane resist, ah, uh, this is a held in offhand. Dude. It doesn't have stamina. There's no stam, but this is two more spell power, five more int, nine spirit, ten arcane resist over the druid specific offhand from the PvP event. Pally? Yeah, yeah, Pally. Yeah, I, there's no, no stamina, but everything else is way better than our STV level 50. This requires 48. Our level 50 PvP offhand. What the fuck? Uh, main hand mace healing by 18. Okay. This is added 18 spell power. That's definitely healing power. Healing done by spells and effects. Yeah, that's a mistype there. Uh, leather helm. Oh, 18. This this could be. Wh what is this from? Is this Mara? Maradon. Hold on. Do the Sayer's headdress. I don't have the crafted one. I don't even know what I'm wearing on. I think I might be wearing Dreamweave. I mean, that's a lot more. That's eight stamina of eight int. Depending on what helm I have, I might... Eh, do I want to do Mara just for a, a chance at a helm, though? Probably not. Ooh, BRD. BRD loot, bro. Eight. One percent hit, nine. Ooh. Enthralled Spear. I might have to do some, uh... Might have to do some simming tonight. Yo, what up, Wander? I'm doing fucking fantastic, bro. Dreamweave's 45, is it? So maybe, yeah, maybe I'm not wearing Dreamweave helm. I think, I think uh, chest and gloves is what I'm thinking of. But interesting little offhand here. The 1% hit might come in clutch. I hate the lack of spell power, but I like the 1% hit. <laughs> A, a staff with no fucking spell power on it. Nobody's nobody's gonna get this. No, nobody fucking wants this, dude. Fifteen spell power. One crit. No, nope. Sunken temple. Mm, cloth helm. Thirty-five spell power on some cloth legs. Oh, that's healing. They keep doing that. Spell power is, is healing is not spell power. Do better, Wowhead. Do better. All right, so that was re-itemized dungeon loot. Sunken temple raid set bonus changes. I saw the boomy one earlier. Oh, there's no like actual pictures. So cloth. Malevolence, your damage spells have a chance to cause your target to take up to 50 increased damage from subsequent spells. For Priest Mage Warlock. Hmm. Healing damage with Shadow Cleave reduces the cast time of your next Immolate by 50%, stacking up to two times. Last for 12 seconds. Priest, Faith and Magic, your holy damage spells cause you to gain 60 increased damage and healing for 15 seconds. This was uh, the healing one. Exile Dreamer, your healing spell criticals now have a 50% chance to activate Dream State. You must have the rune engraved. But that's only the... It's only the mana return on Dream State, not the debuff on a target, because that's half of Dream State. 
Uh, the two set bonus change from MP5 to crit. So our three set, when it's a, is it? Yeah, it is a three set. There's a two set and a three set. I need to look the set back up. Increases the critical hit chance of Wrath and Starfire. I hate that they keep fucking, they keep doing that shit. They keep limiting it to certain spells. They give us nature damage. They give us arcane damage. They give us crit to Wrath and Starfire. Our idol is Wrath damage. I, I, can't, I hate it, dude. Lost Worshipper's Armor. Improves your chance to get a critical strike with all spells. See, that makes no sense. It's it's behind my, my head, I think. If I look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. Uh, I'll, I'll just... Boom. I'll do that. The two set. Improves your chance to get a critical strike with all spells and attacks by 1%. The three piece increases the critical hit chance of Wrath and Starfire by 3%. Like, what? What is that? The two percent is one percent crit. Now, <laughs> yeah, the gear's gonna. Look. <laughs> I hope that it's gonna change like a second time, a third time, however many times, and that it's not crit. It's just hit. Give us three percent hit with our three set bonus. Three percent spell hit with our our three set. We fucking need it. We're at like 3% out of our 5% hit cap again. Two phases in a row. Boy, everybody else is just like... They're they're talenting out of their hit because they don't fucking need it. As a mage, as a warlock. <laughs> as a priest. Meanwhile, we have no talent for hit. And we can't get rid of talents for hit. And we're fucking stuck under hit cap. Feral's getting loads of love, dude. Feral's getting everything. The power shredder shred reduces the mana cost of your next shapeshift. So it used to be you could power shift a couple times, a handful of times. You could probably count on one hand how many power shifts you could do before you were oom. Especially at like low levels. Maybe 60 it changed and you could shift more than five times, but four times yeah exactly so with these shred reduces the mana cost of your next shapeshift after than 10 seconds by 30 percent improves your chance to hit with see feral's getting hit i think this one this one's mixed up feral is supposed to get the three percent crit and we're supposed to get the two percent hit that's they, they fucked up they made it they made it backwards <laughs> Another three shifts? Hey, that's... And this is only every 10 seconds. So that's another 30 seconds worth of... I mean, if you... Maybe you could power shift faster than more than one every 10 seconds to get value out of it. But if you're limited to only doing... Like, only wanting to shift once every 10 seconds from your shred. Hmm. How's that going to work? I don't know the duration of Shred. Doesn't have an ICD? Hmm. That, that looks like some really fun theory crafting that Feral gets to do. You get your catnip, you get your set bonuses, you get the, uh, the shoulder enchant. Like, Feral gets to have a blast with coming up with, like, the the bis of the bis. <laughs> Backstab and Sinister Strike causes the target to take seven more damage from all sources for 30 seconds. Causes the target to hemorrhage, increasing any damage dealt to the target by over seven. Okay, rogue stuff. Meh. Reduces the cast of healing rain by 100%. Okay. Hunter Shaman, dealing fire damage over time causes you to gain some attack power, stacking up to 10 times. And it lasts for 20 seconds. This, for PvP, makes me uh, nervous. I like the shorter duration last effects for, for PvP specifics. Moonkin pellets. Yeah, birdseed. Yo. 
Let me get some uh, some sunflower seed rocks, please. You are behind the target. Oh, okay. I was thinking of like a bleed. Mm -hmm. I know shit about ferals. <laughs> I'm as close to being a feral without being a feral as possible by being a balanced druid, but I still don't know shit about them. <laughs> Holy spell critical strike chance by 3%. See, like, if I was a shaman or a pally, I'd be fucking pissed at this. I, I hate this little bullshit, dude. I hate it. Chance on spell cast to increase your nature damage and healing by up to 60 for 10 seconds. And even that, too, I don't really care for that type of shit either. If, if these were balanced druid things, I'd be fucking pissed. And they very well could be. Hunter reduces the cooldown of your rapid fire ability by two minutes. Meh. Meh. <laughs> Paladin horn of reduces the cast time. Yeah, so that was a weird one. You so you're gonna need your that's a warrior that does horn of Lordaeron, right? Or is that hunter? That that seems like a really weird interaction. It's a pal pallies give horn of Lordaeron? What the f wh hold on. Horn of a 20 second cooldown. So it's gonna cost him a GCD, which increases total strength for two minutes. What what? So they precast a horn of Lordaeron? Before the fight, it doesn't have a duration, so there's just no dirt. So you just you pre-stack this before you engage in a fight, and then if you have to rebuff this during a phase transition or something, that's, that's a weird one. Tell me, Horn of Lordaeron wasn't from a hunter in a different expansion. Or D, D was it DK? Was this always Paladin? Was this Warrior? Pally equal to strength, ton of shaman. Yeah, but it wasn't. It's not like it's. Oh, yeah. Back in TBC, this was a. This was still a Pally thing. Wrath Classic, Horn of Winter. Fuck. DK ability. God damn it. I was close. Okay. Close. I got it mixed up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did my best. I did my best. <laughs> I did my best. Oh, 10 second duration. I found it. Boom. There it is. Right there. 10 second duration. <laughs> More about elemental leatherworking. I do, I do too. I'm banking. I'm fully banking that at level 60... Elemental leatherworking will be our abyss. I fucking hope. And with eight set bonuses, though, like what, what items would we be able to craft to make it worth it? Cloak. We get, we spend all of this time and energy, leveling up our elemental leatherworking just to be able to make like a specific cloak for us. Like I. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I don't know if Blizzard knows what's going to happen. <laughs> but 10 second duration for this uh, this four Lordaeron. So they can precast their Horn of Lordaeron and 10 seconds into the fight, they can re reduce their next two Holy Light spells by 0 0.2 seconds each. Huge. Huge. All right, I think that was it for that stuff, right? Where was I at? Sunk. That was this one. Set bonuses. Additional item tuning in phase three. 49 minutes ago. This one I haven't looked at at all. Buffed druid staffs. Level restrictions on procs. Enchanted sigil living dreams buff. Crafted profession shoulder duration. 
buff druid staff. So this is the one you were talking about, Bear Bist, I think. They buffed the Ritualist Hammer. One of the new Druid Blood Moon items has received a stat increase. We don't know the source of Ancient Divining Rod, but it received a similar update today. Ancient Divining Rod? That, that used to be something from somewhere. I can't spell ancient. How do you spell ancient? I thought that's what you used to summon in uh, ZF or something, right? It, it was from Sunken Temple? I thought I could have swore that was. it didn't make sense that it was epic, but... Hmm. Heavy leather balls. I mean, yeah, what if we can make consumes with elemental leather working? That would be okay. Warrior set. I didn't even see the warrior set, actually, if it changed. I, maybe I, I, I got down to Pally, and then I, I clicked off of it on accident. An offhand from elemental leather working? Eh. Yeah, like it just—it doesn't make sense to have a, a neck from leatherworking, you know. It—it it would have to be like a an enchant. Ah, they could lean into that, like a a bracer enchant from Elemental Leatherworking, a chest enchant, boot enchant, glove enchant. Hmm. There we go. Instead of maybe maybe it's cloak, this boomkin cloak and enchants all tied into one. What if there's a passive bonus as well for being elemental leatherworking? Three hundred. What if here here we go? I'm 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 digging through this right now. Wonder, it's gonna be one percent spell hit enchant. For bracers, boots, legs, and gloves. So we get 4% spell hit from being elemental leatherworking. I'm calling it right now. That's not what I want, by the way. I, I'm just putting my myself in the shoes of the devs. What would what would the what do I think the devs would do? Leatherbound book? I mean hey. I like main hand offhand over staff. I don't know what it is, but I just like having main hand offhand instead of a two hand. Yo, Zach, in case I forget or in case I don't speak to you before the weekend, happy birthday, bro. I think it's Saturday you said your your birthday was. I'm, I'm leaking your shit out there. Happy birthday, Zach. Happy 21st. Could be drums. Oh, I hope it's not drums. Level restrictions on procs. Blizzard has also added... Adjusted a few items with powerful procs. Yeah, that one says only 45. It, it, this was in the other article. Enchanted Sigil. Living Dreams buff. A new enchanting consume added in phase three now grants more stats. Oh, 50 spell power? So the enchanting in phase two was 20. It was data mined to go up for the sigil to 30 in phase three. Now it's 50? Is enchanting not gonna be our bis profession fifty fucking spell power more spell power yeah it's usually more spell power like less damn less int mm -hmm. yeah 
I see you, babies. Thanks for uh, joining us again tonight. Sorry for the reschedules. I think Zach is a little bit behind right now. <laughs> He's talking about the DK Horns of Winter thing, I think, still. Zach's got a refresh. He's going to hear this in five minutes and be like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it was probably this when it was 30, and now it's 50. I might have to level up some enchanting. I might need to work on my professions on NA tomorrow. Yeah, if you die, you have to wait because it's a 30 minute cooldown from being able to use it. So it's got that little bit of a trade off, but th like, that's a that's a big fucking buff. It wasn't worth it for me before, but if it's 50 spell power, that's going to make it worth it. And then if I die, I'm just going to be pissed. I'm going to be like, yeah, we, what the fuck? <laughs> but that's big, man. Hopefully... There's things similar to this style of buff for other professions. <laughs> Zach. Crafted profession shoulder duration for 10. So this is only 10. We got 20 second duration in phase two. It was 10 seconds in phase one. 20 seconds in phase two. Now we're back to 10 seconds for phase three. Today's build now indicates that the proc has a 10 second duration. And casting speed, okay, spell damage. But I think ours was this one. I think Echoes of Madness. I'd have to look it back up, which one was the uh, the leather ones. Hold on. Uh, I'll look it up. Order in chance now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> profession updates, new profession items. That's not there. I don't even see it. Uh, hmm. It might have been on like one of the main, like the first pages. But what's it called? I'll find it. I'll find it. It's shoulders. It's membrane of dark neurosis. Damaging spells have a chance to increase your spell casting speed by 10%. Like giving us casting speed? We don't fight. We hardly fucking bet. We don't benefit from casting speed like ever unless it's on a star fire. And even then, our value from that in a 10 second window, we're not going to get anything out of that. It's fucking ridiculous. It's a pretty fucking shit. I'm just airing my grievances right now. It's a shit fucking. <laughs> on use ability for our crafted profession as boomies and i guess that was it for the data mining stuff huh i think we're gonna get more data mined stuff tomorrow i really do like once the servers go down the servers come back up Really good 5% chance to do extra attack. That works for progress, yeah. I still think Zach's a little bit behind on the VOD right now. <laughs> He'll catch up. Um, but one thing I've been checking is for leaflets. And no new leaflets have been found yet. Uh, the other stuff was... 
Elune. I mean, we could look at Elune's fire. That's our bracer. Elune's fire. All right. To see if that changed at all, but that's still saying six seconds for Starfire, three seconds for Wrath, uh, up to three. And then the other one was what? Gale wins? Saturday, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> there did he He's just about five minutes back. It's all good. It's okay. The damage by 100% no longer has a cooldown. And this mana cost is reduced by 20%. Yeah, rip. Rip, rip, rip. Still the same old, same old. Unfortunate. Alright, so a, a couple of pieces from dungeons on my NA tune that's not... I've done one gnomer on my NA druid, so... There's a couple of dungeon pieces. I might go slightly out of my way for while I'm leveling up to 50. If if possible. If I can get into a group, then I'll, I'll go do it. Mm. Uh, but nothing, nothing too major here. Yo, what up, what up, what up, what up? Big J, weren't you going to bed? You, didn't you go to bed at the start of the Cata podcast? What are you doing? Just get get some more sleep. Go go lay back down. No, that wasn't you. okay. Okay. Oops. I was just looking at there, there was a lot of new data mined articles from Wildhead. There was one, two, three, four, five, five more articles. That they they popped up here in the last couple hours, so I just went through, looked at them, saw what was potentially beneficial for balanced druids or me in particular, and there was minor things. Uh, enchanting is looking fucking powerful. Hmm. <laughs> oh, you had to raid. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. You had to raid. All right. Well, a short little one hour stream for me. Usually I stream for multiple hours, but uh, just had like a three plus hour podcast. I had an eight and a half hour shift this morning. So I'm going to head out of here. I just had to look it through all of these things. I, I'm assuming we're going to get more data mine stuff tomorrow. So if there's more data mine stuff tomorrow, I will be back. If not, I'll be back tomorrow night. Tuesday nights, it's an off night for me. So. I can I can play something. I'll probably play sod. I'll, I'll I'll be on sod doing something. I hit 85 on the cata beta today, so I could work on like professions on the cata beta, but meh. So thanks everybody for chilling here for a little bit, and uh, catch you all tomorrow. Enjoy your evening. See you in sod phase three. See you on the cata beta. See you in wrath of lich king. I'm, I'm doing everything classic except for era and hardcore. <laughs> See you, Jay. See you, Zach. When, when Zach, when you hear this in five minutes, night, Zach. Wander, thanks for stopping by. Super, always a pleasure. Barabas already left. I think I covered. I think I covered by Frodo, if you're still chilling. See you, Frodo. Ciao, Wonder. Peace, mate.